This is the place where the story began, because this is Jackie the Clown's lair. It was their main dweller who sent two of them in search of a victim, and they, like promising monsters, of course, went in search of food for their dinner. Oh my god, how scary they are! <laughs> Their lair was hidden in this mountain behind these scary, huge doors. They got out of there and went in search of food. I can't even imagine what they'll do with these guys they'll find. What a nightmare. But the most terrible thing is that their lair has been near our village all this time. And only in the morning, we will find out what they have done. <laughs> Good evening to me. Phew. It seems the nap was too long. Where's Mikey? Is he watching TV? Hey, Mikey! You've been sitting and watching TV since lunch. Let's go for a walk somewhere in the village. Yes, let's go then. But I'm scared of those policemen standing over there. What a nightmare! JJ, what are we going to do now? This neighbor was killed and no one knows who did it. Let's ask the guys what happened there. Officer Adam, maybe show us what happened to our neighbor. We need to know this, since we live right here, and oh my god, I can already smell it and I don't even know what kind of horror happened here. Who could have done this? We don't have anyone in the village who would be capable of such a thing. Yes, JJ, it's just terrible, and I feel sorry for our neighbor. But I think it's time for us to go home because they have to investigate and find evidence. I hope they can find this killer and put him in jail. I wish you good luck in this matter. We really want you to find this man and he will receive his punishment. Mikey, let's go home. I think we can go to bed now. I've already managed to get tired. JJ, but we need to close all the doors and windows so that this killer cannot enter our house. I'm so worried that we're going to be killed tonight. Mm-hmm. <sighs> hmm? Where's Mikey? What the? Mikey, where did you go? You know that the killer is still walking around here and you shouldn't have gone anywhere. Hmm? What are those sounds from the street? Oh my god! I can't believe it! This is definitely not a dream! Mikey! What are you doing there? I thought we were good friends! But you turned out to be a murderer! Why did you kill him like that? And why did you kill our vessel? He hasn't done anything wrong to us? Wait guys! I didn't kill this guy! I wanted to save and it all looks wrong! I swear to you it's not me! Don't put me in jail! Leave me alone! JJ! I didn't kill him! I don't believe you! After what I just saw, you can't be trusted at all! What a nightmare! Poor John! He was an ordinary farmer! And not only him, but also George! I'm so sorry that he killed you! I didn't know I was living next to a murderer! Guys! How many times have I said that I didn't kill him? It was done by the monsters that I saw and went to save John! How can you not believe me? Why? I don't have any evidence! Get me my lawyer, JJ! Oh. Call him! Yes, officer! I didn't know what Mikey was doing and I can't believe it myself right now! If I had known, I would have reported it right away, I swear to you! Hmm? Are you taking the body already? Absolutely! Can you say anything about this murder? Because it's just a nightmare! I don't think Mikey was that violent! Hmm? What are you saying? Did he say he wanted a lawyer? Is this a joke? I'm pretty sure Mikey killed him! Okay, if no one wants to protect him, then I think I'll have to do it. Let's go to the police station soon. I will try to defend him in court, but I am not sure that there will be evidence that will save him. Officer Adam, what do you think? You're pretty sure Mikey killed this guy too, aren't you? You've seen it all with your own eyes. I saw it too as soon as I woke up, and it couldn't all just seem to me. I signed all these documents. Can I go and see him now? Come and take me to his cage. I'm so scared to talk to him right now. What if he'll kill me too? JJ, is that you? You finally come. I have to tell you something and after that you will definitely change your mind. Officer Adam, can you leave us alone? I have something very important to tell him. Thank you. JJ, we definitely have at least one surveillance camera in the area. If you can pull out the footage from the cameras, then you'll see it all for yourself. Now I really don't know if he killed him. He said so confidently about the recordings from the cameras. I think he was right about the monster, but I won't be able to say for sure until I see it all with my own eyes. Where can these cameras be? It's just John's house and the bloodstains. 
I don't think John knew anything about cameras at all. I think Mikey just made it up to make me feel insecure. Wait a minute. Hmm. Oh, this is a surveillance camera from our house that I installed a long time ago. Really? Now I need to sit down at my PC and watch all these recordings from that night. Mm-hmm. Huh? Oh my god, it's not true! I don't believe it! It's a nightmare! John was really attacked by some monsters. What a horror! They're just going to kill him now! Was everything Mikey said true? Then he brought a knife with him in order to save him, and he wanted to help him! Come on, Mikey, you can really kill one of them. My god, how brave you were that night! I can't believe my eyes! That is, all this time he knew about these monsters, but could not prove that he did not do it. I need to bring all these records to the police station in order to exonerate him. And it was at this moment that I left the house and saw this picture of Mikey standing with a knife in front of John's corpse. It was at this moment that I came out. I'm so ashamed of him now. He really didn't do anything wrong. I should have listened to it right away and watched it all. But the main thing is that now I have proof of his innocence. Officer Adam, this is simply not true. Look at these camera footage and you'll see it. Hurry up and get Mikey out of jail, and we must go in search of these monsters right now before they kill someone else. We need to reward Mikey. Mm-hmm. Great! Now I have to apologize to him. Hey, Mikey, I'm so glad you came out. I'm sorry I didn't believe you right away. I thought it was just a dumb excuse. But you can still save John, because you and I are going on a hunt for these clowns. Yes, JJ. I know we're going there. I forgive you if you help me finish off all these clowns before it's too late and before they do something terrible to other villages. I think I even know where their lair is. There must be traces of blood here. What a nightmare. It's a huge and scary door. Are you sure it's there? But how are we going to get there? Hmm? Did you have ender pearls? Mm -hmm. All right. Ugh. And so we found ourselves in their lair. But we didn't know that there were even more Jackie clowns than at the beginning. It's just a nightmare. They're all big and scary. It turns out that by this point, they had already managed to build up their army thanks to all these victims that they found in other villages. <laughs> Is that your laugh? Do you really think we're going to let you laugh after what you've done? Come here quickly one at a time. Even if there are so many of you here, we are still not afraid of you. After all you've done to us, you should be dead. We will not spare you. You're going to die tonight. JJ, was there really an army of them here? I didn't think there would be so many of you, but even so, you still can't even fight back. If I were you, I would have already killed all those who would have decided to attack you at all. But you turned out to be just ordinary weaklings and cowards. And this huge clown is just ridiculous. With his size, he should have killed us right away. But he didn't do anything, because he is nothing. Yes, JJ, and now we are incredibly rich. All thanks it to these It turns out to be so nice to sit with you and eat food outside. Even your face doesn't stop me from eating. What? Are you serious right now? Sit and eat while you can. Soon I will make it so that you will not be able to walk at all or even eat. I just have a good plan for how I can do this. Do you know what I have? This potion will make a completely different person out of me. You don't even recognize me. Now we need to change the voice. Ahem. It seems to have worked. Now everything has become much easier for me. JJ, you'd better wash your teeth if you want to meet someone. For example, I would start with your face. Look over there. Have you seen this girl here? She doesn't seem to be doing very well. Let's go ask if she needs help, because it seems to me that it's hard for her. A girl! Are you all right? If you want, we will definitely help you. JJ is the best guy you will meet in your life. He knows a lot of things. My son doesn't seem to really want to go for a walk, but I have so many things to buy. For example, groceries. Maybe you could help me bring it all home. Hmm, let us think. Of course we will help you. Who are we to refuse to help you? <laughs> JJ, I think this is where she lives. Don't you think it's going to be a little noisy here? Isn't there a railway here? 
Yes, we are already used to it. He stopped crying after we lived here for a couple of years. So thank you for your care and help. Maybe you want to eat something or have tea at my place. We will only be glad of this, Mikey. Now they will feed us something very tasty. You're hungry, aren't you? Don't lie that you're not hungry. Of course I'm hungry. I never thought that you could buy so many products in a couple of hours. I do not know how she does it herself. Mm-hmm. Huh? Huh? Guys, it seems that you came here specifically to meet me. I'm so oh! glad you came to my house. Now let me put you to sleep. You must have been very tired that day while you were running for groceries. Uh, huh? Where are we? Mikey? Is that you? How did we end up here in the first place? Why are we lying on the railroad? I don't understand how it happened. I just remember how we waited for that girl until she brought us our tea and then we fell asleep. It seems there was some guy there. It's good that we're just lying here, but I'm most afraid that a train might appear there. Hmm? Ah! Mikey! There's a train coming! What are we going to do? They're going to run over me! And we can't even get out of here! How do we do this? This is terrible! I didn't think it would end so stupidly! I'm glad we were friends! <laughs> Don't shout so loudly! I will save you all! You thought I'd just walk past seven? I can't believe you're in this situation! You need to tell me what happened to you! Guys, did you fall asleep? You need to wake up! You guys are not dead! It seems you need something to eat or you won't wake up! Hey, JJ, are you okay? Hmm? Mikey, are you okay too? Arnold, I can't believe you saved us. I think we lost consciousness a little bit. There's a girl living there, and it seems it's her husband who wanted to kill us. All right, I get it for you. Good luck to you guys. JJ, let's go to the city soon. I have such a terrible headache. I want to sleep so much. Hmm? Guys, is that you? I can't believe what my husband did to you. I want you to help me find my child. I'm so worried about him. I won't sleep until I find him. Give us time to think about it. Okay, we agree. Only this time you need to warn about your husband. We almost died because of him. JJ, let's go to the store. We need to buy weapons just in case to protect myself from that guy. Hi guys, for 64 bucks, you'll get all these weapons. I'll be waiting for you. I see that you don't have any money now. JJ, let's go to the bank soon. There's definitely money there. We've been saving money for so long! JJ and Mikey, I'm so sorry that we don't have any money. He went to our bank in the past and lost all his money there. There's not even any money in the safe. I can't believe this could happen to you. You are just a terrible bank. Mikey, let's go find another way to make money. And I already know how we can do it. Do you see that mine? I'm pretty sure there's ore there that we can dig up and sell it at the exchanger. Look at all these emeralds. You took the pickaxe, didn't you? Then it's just perfect. We can dig it all up. Of course. We're going to do this quickly, aren't we? All right. It seems that this is the house in which that husband lives is crazy. Then it's time for me to take revenge on him for my friends. On the weather, man. You're going to die soon. Did you really think it would be that easy? You're just a dumb weakling, but you also dirty my house. How can I clean it up, though? I'm going to kill those two anyway. Mikey, I can't believe we got so many emeralds. Now we need to exchange everything from this guy. You're exchanging it for dollars, aren't you? Great. Now let's go quickly to that store and buy a bunch of weapons before that kid finally gets lost somewhere. Exactly. What do you think to buy first? Although we can buy all the weapons that the seller has, right? I hope he hasn't gone anywhere. He promised he wouldn't leave. And I didn't go anywhere. You've come to buy weapons, haven't you? Then give me your money and you can take all the weapons that are on this wall. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot, man. We are happy to buy weapons from you, because these weapons are probably the best. We don't know anyone who has a better weapon than you. Now we can easily find the Oribin. Mikey, let's go to her soon and ask her how we can start the search. Do you think she's still at home? I'm so scared to go there. I'm afraid of that guy. He knocked us out like that. Mm-hmm. Huh? JJ, look over Whoa. there. It's Arnold. It seems he came here to avenge us. But that guy did it faster than him. It's just terrible. Now we must definitely avenge our friend's death. Let's find that guy by following the blood trail. That's exactly what we're going to do. Just take your time, because we don't know what he did there. Maybe he's waiting for us to activate the trap. Let's go quietly and attack him suddenly. Uh-huh. Huh? Mm -hmm. You guys have come. 
Well, it's time for me to change back to kill you. What? Uh, ah! Are you guys afraid of me? Don't you really want to drink tea or eat a delicious cake? I made this especially for you. Don't come near us, you stupid idiot. You're so disgusting. I'm so sorry that we believed you. I can't believe you can become so scary. JJ shouldn't have helped this idiot. Run away from here, let's run. I don't even want to touch you. You're so disgusting. Mikey, close this door so we can't get in here. We need to figure out a way to get out of this house of horrors. But how do we do it? Do you have any ideas? Maybe we could jump out the window. Don't break my windows. Better let me break your teeth so you can't eat. You'd better have tea with me. Where are you going? Stay where you are. I won't do anything to hurt you. So is it good that you want to break our teeth? No, we don't want that. So you better stay where you are while we figure out a way to get out of here as fast as possible. Mikey, figure out how to get out of this house soon. JJ, I have an idea. We can break that glass and get out of there. We can land well there so as not to break anything. Break the glass faster. You don't want to fall into the hands of that idiot, do you? Stop, guys. Don't run away from me, you idiots. Do you know how much this glass cost? You have no idea. It will cost you a lot. If I catch up with you, I'll do what you did with my glasses. You both know that I won't leave you alone. What happened? Why am I stuck on the tracks? Hmm? No! The train! Ah! We are lucky that the train decided to pass right now. I didn't think I'd be so happy to see the train. What can you say now, idiot? It seems you can't say anything at all. Absolutely. Now we need to save our friend as soon as possible. Hmm? Hmm. But what are we going to do with this idiot? Will he still be lying here? Maybe we should put it somewhere else or something. Don't! Let it lie! It will be a hint that it is not worth coming here. Huh? Now we go rather to Arnold. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where this boy came from. Do you think he needs to be saved? But it seems that he doesn't need it. Arnold, how are you there? We nailed you to sleep. Don't worry. You're going to be fine. I hope these potions we were in the open ocean and we were eaten by sharks. What? JJ, you have such strange dreams. I wouldn't want this to happen in reality, but it seems like all the guys are standing still. I don't think we'll have any problems. Apparently it is, but it was still just a nightmare. I'm just very worried about my dream. The wind is blowing and our ship is sailing, so everything is fine. What's the matter with our captain? I don't know. It seems that he should be in another part of the ship. Let's go and check on him. I'm sure he'll tell you that it was just an ordinary nightmare, hello, captain. What? Mm hmm? Whoa. JJ, your dream! It was a prophetic dream! What are we going to do now? We need to escape somehow! We have to kill this monster! No! I don't want to die! Do we have bullets for this gun? It doesn't seem like it. What are we going to do? Captain, can we try to sail away from here? We won't succeed. Look, our captain has already accepted his death. It seems that this is our <sighs> end. <sighs> hmm? What? My head is bursting so much. Where did we end up? Hmm? Mikey, are you okay? Wake up soon. Huh? We ended up on some kind of island. It's strange that we're here and not dead. What? Are we still alive? I can't believe it. How did we stay alive? I didn't think it would be like this. Where are the other guys from our ship? Oh no, I think they're dead. JJ, we're the last survivors. It seems you're right. And we need to survive somehow. Let's see what's in these barrels and chests. We need to find at least some supplies in order to survive. We have a bonfire, that's good. What else do we need? At least some kind of ax so that we can build a hut? And we also need to get food. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mikey, that monster that ate our ship, he's already here. What? Why are you hunting us? Wasn't it enough for you that you ate an entire ship and a bunch of people? Mikey, we need to get out of here as soon as possible. Then let's run from here to the center of the island. I hope that there will be something that will help us escape in this place. These places look strange, as if people have already been here. I don't think anyone but other people could cut down so much wood, hmm? Did you find something? Yes, JJ! Look there! Someone built a house in a tree there! I think if we can climb up there, we'll find something that will help us survive in this place. I think we can do it! Let's see what's in this basement. I hope there will be a lot of food there. Hmm? 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 What? What's wrong, JJ? What's the big deal? Huh? Ah! It was a bad idea to look at this place. I don't think they were ordinary animals. It would be better to go upstairs. 
By the way, let's not waste time and let's go see what's in this treehouse. There doesn't seem to be anyone there. Otherwise, we would have already been attacked. I think you're right, but I still don't like something here. If there's no one there, then where could they have gone? Mikey, I think they didn't go anywhere. There's a strange smell here, and I don't think it's food. I think it's their skeletons. Look at this place. Clearly someone lived here and then just left this place, so it can now be our home. Do you think so? There is absolutely nothing here, not even food or at least some tools. What is the point of this place for us, except that this place looks cool from the outside? You're right, Mikey. We need to get out of here urgently. That monster from the ocean is still hunting us and still swimming after us. We need to somehow get out or kill this monster, but we don't have anything at all. Do you see this? It's really floating behind us and doesn't even want to leave us alone. We need to do something. Do you have any ideas? I have a good idea. See that gun over there? I think with this gun, we could try to kill this monster. There are bullets right here. We just need to push this cannon closer to this monster and open fire, JJ, will you help me? Good, let's try to do it. Pushing together. About three, one, two, three, shoo. We are succeeding. We need to push this cannon to the shore and from there we could open fire on the monster. JJ, this monster is already so close. We have to make it before he can swim to us. JJ, push harder. I don't want to die again. Please push. For now, I'll take the cannons and try to load this cannon. I wish it would work. Come on, Mikey. Right now, we don't have time to stand and look at him. Wow, this gun is working. I already thought we were finished. Phew, now we just need to kill this monster. How lucky we are. JJ, don't you think the monster is just eating all these bullets? It's very strange and scary. JJ, no, I think he wants to shoot those bullets back at us. Watch out, JJ. He broke our cannon. No, I can't believe it. Mikey, let's get out of here before he gets too close to us. Run after me. I have some ideas. All right. We need to... Mm -hmm. ah! oh. Mikey, are you all right? Answer me. No, don't die. Uh, do you hear me? Answer me already. Hmm? Huh? True. I'm so glad you didn't die. What should we do now? We don't know where this monster is now, but that monster is definitely swimming behind us. JJ, I think I know what to do. Follow me. I think I found a bunch of guns and some kind of wall there. I think there are people there. JJ, we're getting better. There are people there! Let's ask them to help us! Hi guys! I heard that you are the people who need our help. I didn't think you could survive even after that monster. If you have to kill it, then I have good news. We need to kill it too. This monster's name is Bloop. A very strange name for this monster. But how do we do it? I do not know how you want to help us. Have we already tried to kill this monster with these guns? Or do you have something even better than these guns? Don't worry, guys. We will equip you with weapons. You just need to kill this bloop, so I want you to stand on the shore and wait for this monster to appear on the horizon. And in the meantime, we will prepare all the weapons for you. Good. We understand you. Mikey, I already really like it. If their weapons are somehow very powerful, then it won't be a problem for us. On the contrary, it will be a pleasure for us. That's right. I think two of us are enough to kill one bloop. Mm-hmm. JJ, it seems that there are a lot more of these bloops than we thought. Take this all. With these weapons and armor, we can kill them. <laughs> it remains only to wait for this potion to work. And while this is being activated, I will have time to get as far away from here as possible, so that no one even tries to look for me.
Hello everyone, I'm with you again. I'm your favourite journalist, Alice, and today I came to you to tell you the urgent and terrible news that happened to our river last night. As you can see, our entire river has been poisoned and infected, so I sincerely ask you to stop swimming or fishing in this place. The experts told me that anyone who tries to enter the water will be poisoned instantly. We don't know how long this will last. Scientists are already looking for a way to cure this river. Please wait for it. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Thank you for being with me while I was- Mikey! I'm tired of watching this movie! Don't you think that watching this movie for the 10th time is too much? Let's go to the vegetable garden and collect all the crops that have grown there. I think this will be the best option for us now. Mm -hmm. I just want to eat. We can make some kind of cake. I even know exactly what we need. Do you think we can catch fish today to roast it? Mm -hmm. huh? Hi, JJ and Mikey. I heard that you want to fish. Don't even think about doing that. Have you completely forgotten? Haven't you watched the news? Then follow me to the river and you will see everything with your own eyes. What are you talking about? Why shouldn't we fish? What else should we do? You tell me we can't swim there yet. Mm -hmm. You're thinking right. This river has been poisoned. Now it's not that people are there, even fish can't survive. See for yourself. My job was to warn you. What a horror! Mikey! We're not in a dream right now, are we? Because I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Who dared to poison this river? Look at these fish! The two of us could catch them and eat them. We won't even be able to swim! This is unbearably hot water. JJ, it seems from now on, we won't be able to fry and eat fish anymore. I think we should go home now and look at our supplies. Precisely. Maybe we even have some fish stocks left. I hope so. I really want to try at least one fish again. I want to too. We still need to make a couple of loaves of bread. Or we'll have to go to another village to get fish. Oh. disgusting you are. Where did you all come from? I don't remember such monsters ever existed. Mikey, do you have any idea where they might have come from? Because they look like villagers. I don't think they came here from any dimension. I think it's all because of some kind of mutation. Are you saying mutation? Then I think I know where they all came from. Do you remember our river? They showed us today that this place was sent. I think it's because of this place. Let's go closer and take a look at this place again. What a horror! What happened here? I think that some people still went swimming in this place and because of this, such monsters appeared. It's so hot in here. What should we do now?
Jay. I think we're going to have to kill all these monsters that are in this river anyway. So let's open up what lies inside this box. There are scooters lying there. This way we can get closer to these monsters without getting injured because of this water. Great. It's so good that these scooters were here. And this chest is just full of cool weapons. With this weapon, we can just kill all these monsters. So far, everything is not going badly. But we need to prepare properly for this fight. We don't know how many of these monsters will be there. So we need to get as many ammo for the weapon as possible. Then I think this should be enough for us. You're ready, aren't you? Then let's go. I'm so scared, but I'm also so excited I don't know what to do about it. But I want so badly to kill these monsters and the one who poisoned our river. I just want to do this unbearably. Mm-hmm. It was lucky that there was also gasoline here. Otherwise, we would not have been able to swim to these monsters in any way. Now prepare all the weapons we have, because there will be a huge army of these monsters in front of us, which we also need to finish off. Hello, monsters. Why are you so scared? Didn't you think that we would come to you to finish you all off? How naive are you if you thought that we would never come here to kill you all? Ha ha ha! What weaklings you are! I thought you would be much stronger! Look how many of them there are! And this river turns out to be so long! And whoever sent this place is probably just a complete idiot! But it doesn't matter yet! We need to kill them all before they decide to attack our village or someone else's village! Hey you! You're not going to think about attacking anyone anymore, are you? Although it doesn't matter, because you won't even live after us. JJ, this is not their whole army. Look over there. Do you see this huge monster? I can't believe that someone could become so huge because of radiation.